Today we're at the Little White House in Georgia. Ranger Granton, where are you from? From Pine Mountain Valley, Georgia. Okay. But my, my family's from Malone, Florida. Okay. I know exactly where it's at. It's right down the road from me. All right. We're from Cottondale. Okay. Well, it's nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you for coming. Help to clean it up. Yeah. Books that's here on the bookcase, the books are in the exact location they were on the day that he passed. Everything in the house, furniture wise, is original. There's no reproductions. Now, there has been some pieces that were added. And there in the secretary's bedroom, the switchboard that was located here on property, but not here in the house. And also the wheelchair you see in the back is Missy Lahan's wheelchair. That was his personal secretary for 21 years. She had a stroke in 1941, and a majority of her um, rehabilitation she did there at the foundation. Thank you. You're very welcome. And this is the bedroom where President Roosevelt passed away. And this is Eleanor Roosevelt's bedroom. And if you stop and think about it, it makes sense because Fowler, the most famous dog in the world. Yes, sir. And he had so much fan mail that he had his own secretary to answer. And right over here are the scratch marks on the woodwork that Fowler made when he would see the president outside, he would just go nuts and scratch at the door. And the president took Fowler everywhere. I don't think he took him to Yalta, but pretty much everywhere else he went. He was his constant companion, and he's buried about maybe nine feet away from the president and the first lady in the Rose Garden in Hyde Park. The Little White House isn't gigantic. It's actually very meager. It's really nice inside, but it's only about a thousand square feet. That's the way President Roosevelt wanted it. He owned about 6,000 acres out here. But he just had a nice little getaway. Thanks for watching. Bye.